belly cry. You'll be in the stadium soon. This is a person who is the former CFO at Tuscany Casino. Now he's running for governor and he's not accepting any money, so no campaign contributions, no contributions from individuals, no money whatsoever. So definitely has his work cut out for him. Um, you're also advocating for a new high-speed rail that will actually go from Los Angeles to Vegas. So we're gonna ask you questions about how we can afford this and how that's gonna work. And then you also said you're gonna be willing to wear Google Glass all the time. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna talk about not that too. Not all the time. Not all the time. <laughs> not all the time, right. But when I go to bathroom, I, I don't but how do we know? If you're in the bathroom, maybe that's where you take the bags of money. Like, you'll see. It'll be tough. We'll see. But I'm just teasing you. And then also, the big thing is you're going to move the state capitol here to Las Vegas from Carson City. Yes. Right? So, okay. Put our hands together for Charles Chang. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so let's talk about this high-speed rail. I mean, the first, the way that we first got in contact is we had a conversation on the downtown Las Vegas LinkedIn group about the Hyperloop, and you know, it was not really a truly serious conversation until you came into the picture, and now it's something that you're saying could be done not with the Hyperloop but with high-speed rail. Tell me about the plans. We all know one third of our visitors are from South California. It's about 30 million people. Okay. Now they're stuck in traffic for seven, eight hours to come over here. So it would decrease their intention to, to come over here. That's why we need this high-speed rail. Get them over here in 80 or 90 minutes. OK. Yeah. So I, I was saying if we do that, they will come over probably more. And uh, the visitor, I think, at least double. Right. I think so, too. And uh, it will boost our economy by at least 30%. Okay. And I think this is the only way to boost our economy in the short run or in, and the, also in the long run. Okay, so if we're getting a 30% boost in the economy, what do you think that calculates as profit? And then is that enough money to pay for this thing? Or how are you going to afford to build this light rail? Uh, lots of people ask me where the money comes from. Yeah, okay. that's, yeah, me too. If you, <laughs> it's a good question. Yeah, yeah, smart a good people. Question. I assume. Yeah. If you heard about a terminology called first mover advantage, mm. I use it all the time. Yeah, <laughs> that's my thing. Yeah, yeah this I love it. this high speed rail will be the first complete project in the United States. Okay. In six years. So the company will come over to build this project. He has a advantage because he's gonna set up the standard. Hmm. for all the United States. So if we open a bit for international company come over, like the company in Europe, in Japan, in mainland China, and also in Canada, they will all want to get this first project. So we will ask them to invest 90%. They can earn their money back. And uh, we only provide 10%. And these 10% we can issue bond. It's about $1 billion because the total project will cost $10 billion. Ooh. And this $1 billion, the state issue bond for 2% interest. So the total cost is six years for that 2%. And after that, the investor can consider convert their bond into the stock of, to run this project. Okay. And uh, because this project itself increased 100,000 jobs. So those people will spend money, and the sales tax is twice of the expense on the interest. Mm -hmm. So actually, the state earns some money to build this project. So that's my business okay, plan. OK, right. And you have a, you're, you've been the CFO at Tuscany Casino for how long? Eight years and then okay. five months. So you're comfortable working with the numbers, huh? Yep. Okay, well, we'll see. If anybody has any questions, we'll follow up on that. But I want to move on to the um, Google Glass thing. So that's pretty brave. Like, you want to wear this Google Glass, and you're going to give maybe the citizens a peek of what it's like inside those crazy meetings, huh? And like when people are bidding for the, the rail and all that yeah. stuff. If I ask everyone over here, uh, what do you think about the politician? Probably. Politician become a bad word, bad professional. <laughs> Nobody trusts it, right? And also, 
our country have big problem. The rich company actually own our politician through the lobbyist. Right. So we have to cut the tie between money and power. That's why I want to raise the bar, raise the standard for all the politician. I want them to follow me. We will do the 100% transparency. That's why when I am governor, I wear Google Glass. OK. And everything I say, everything I do, will be online every day. Yeah. And also, I think everybody over here, you are the people. You are the boss. All the politicians, they are employees. So they should under our supervision. Right? Right, yeah. And then... Oh, yeah, we're the boss, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're right, though. It feels like we lost touch with that, but it's true, right? It yeah. should be true. OK, so you're not taking any money from anybody. That's the big, that's, that's, that's what I actually really love about your campaign, but it's also what makes me the most worried. So it's not even <laughs> from anybody, right? Because Sandoval, is, do you don't have any idea what he has? Like, is he in the millions? Five, five million. OK, so five million versus zero. So it's a battle. You know, it's a battle that can't, do you think it can be won? And if so, how is that going to happen? Uh, you know Tony? Tony Shea? Heard of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He used his own resource to make everyone over here life better. Right. Do you agree with that statement? I agree with that, yeah. yeah. So I plan to use my little bit resource to make everybody's life better. So he's my role model. OK. So I have Aww. to do that. <laughs> I told, I told you the story. Yeah, tell them. Yeah. We should, yeah. <laughs> I, I am a runner for the, uh, this position only 59 days now. And the reason I run it, it's related to this downtown project. Because in February, our uh, UNLV MBA group come over here, uh, pay, pay a visit over here, and then Tony shared talk to us. In that meeting, I suggest him to run the governor. Because I, uh, the uh, statistic shows in Vegas right now, we have more than 2 million people live here. And the north side only have uh, 500,000 people. That's why last time, Brian Sandor, <laughs> he only got 382 votes. 382,000, I'm sorry, <laughs> votes. <laughs> And if, if Tony Shea run the governor, he, at least he will get half of the votes in Vegas, in Great Vegas area. So that's about 500,000 votes. Okay. So if he run it, he will win it. So I provide this uh, uh, statistic to him. Unfortunately, he say no. <laughs> <laughs> Not surprised, because he's a very low key person. And, uh, and then my classmate, they say, Hey, Charles, you have a great idea. Why I don't do you it. run it? Because in They're that meeting, right. yeah. yeah. In that not? meeting, I suggest, Tony, you only need to do one thing, build a high-speed rail. And uh, then my classmates say, you should run it. And uh, you know, Confucius say that if you don't want to do something, you shouldn't ask somebody to do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm stuck there. Good. And so I say, OK, I run it. That's how it started. And uh, if, if you ask me if I regret it, I will say I'm happy to have this experience. And uh, I found out. Yeah. No, no, yeah, I'm glad. Yeah. Mo yeah. Most of the politicians, I went to a meeting. They say this is a mainstream uh, politician meeting. So I found out I'm alone. I'm the only bu business person in there. They are either lawyers union worker, oh. and sorry. Oh. <laughs> I should say sorry to my wife, too, because she's, <laughs> she's a lawyer. Sure. And, uh, and also, the uh, government officers, they, they're wondering who will be their boss. So no wonder nobody can fix, fix our problem. Right. That's why I say, OK. I'm doing something. I, I, I provide solution 
groups, right? Right. They can provide all kinds of argument and uh, point finger to others. But, but you have the solution. I have the, the thing solutions. that they've never had. Yeah. So. All right. So before we end here, we've got uh, a website. At least you know you don't have much money, but at least you got a .org up there. So that's that's good. <laughs> like we got something we can rally behind. So VegasFirst.org yes. is what we're doing. So that's Vegas, and then the number one first um, one SD.org. And then uh, I can't make you governor, but we can at least sing you a drinking song. That's good. We've got plenty of drunks for it. So, so yeah. And you guys, can, they can ask questions through your website. Is that a good place for them to? Yes. Do you want them to email you or? Yeah, they can email me at charleschan99 at the yahoo.com. Okay. All right. So we're gonna sing you. We're gonna sing you our famous drinking song, Charles. <laughs> yeah.